Hi Founder fans, Jason here, and today's founder is Robert Troop. Now, what's so special about Robert Troop? Well, according to the play Hamilton, nothing because he was left out of it entirely. This despite the fact that in college, he was given a roommate, and Robert Troop's roommate's name was Alexander Hamilton. And these two men would be friends for their entire lives. So let's talk about it. So Troop and Hamilton met at King's College as roommates, and they both got swept up in the fervor of revolution. So they decided to form a little bit of a militia. And first they called themselves the Corsicans, but later changed the name to the Hearts of Oak, sometimes called the Hearts Oak. And the Hearts of Oak would drill on the lawn of the college. And then when the war came to New York, they signed up and... In the play, when they say, let's go steal their cannons, well, it was the Hearts of Oak that went and stole those cannons, and Hamilton was more famous for it, but Robert Troop was there and a part of it. Now, after this, the two men did separate. Hamilton joined an artillery division and stayed on the island of Manhattan, while Robert Troop went and served in the Bronx. And unfortunately, during the Battle of Long Island, Robert Troop was captured and actually kept on a prison ship where conditions were famously absolutely horrific. Fortunately for Troop, he was released in a prisoner exchange, and having attended King's College, he had a little bit of renown in the community, and he was recruited by Horatio Gates, one of the highest-ranking major generals in the Continental Army, to serve on his staff as one of his aides-de-camp. Now, he, said he served in this position for several years until the Board of War was created, at which point... Uh, uh, Horatio Gates was assigned to as one of the people running the Board of War, and because of this, Robert Troop became a secretary to the Board of War, which oversaw operation of the American Revolution from the Patriots' point of view. Now, after the war ended, uh, these the two friends, Robert Troop and Alexander Hamilton, who had been separated for quite some time, came back together, and Troop by this point was a little older than Hamilton and had already achieved his law degree, and he actually helped Alexander Hamilton study the law, and helped Hamilton, of course, pass the bar and become a very important lawyer in New York before Hamilton went on to, you know, be Alexander Hamilton and create the United States and do all sorts of Hamilton things. So, Robert Troop uh, continued to support his friend and became a Federalist and supported the creation of the United States. And uh, throughout his life, he held many important positions. He served in the New York State Assembly. He would take care of Alexander Hamilton's uh, personal business while Hamilton was away in Philadelphia running the United States and creating the Treasury Department, although a good portion of that did happen back home in New York. But either way, Troop was the one who took care of Hamilton's affairs. And uh, Robert Troop was also, at one point, uh, chosen as a United States Federal District Attorney for the District of New York by George Washington. Probably Alexander Hamilton had some influence over that decision. Uh, and he would also serve in the New York State Assembly with many, many, many other things. So that's a brief look at the life of Robert Troop, Alexander Hamilton's college roommate. A fascinating character who we're really surprised was not mentioned at all in the play Hamilton. But, again, he was just a bit player, so it's not that surprising. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit like. And if you're new here, hit subscribe. I put out videos about the American Revolution five days a week. So thank you for watching, and I will bring you another founder tomorrow.